Hi there, it's Ajmer from In-House Solutions, and this is another video in the series of what's new in Mastercam 2025. In this video, we're going to talk about the Rotary Advanced Toolpath. So let's get into it. So I've got a bunch of different Rotary options in here, or Rotary Toolpaths in here, with different settings enabled on each one. So the first one here is, I'm just going to show you what it's going to do. So this is going to rough out uh, going around the outside of the cylinder and roughing this out in a fourth axis method. And the main thing here is you'll notice that it's staying in that region. And once it finally finishes that region, it goes on to the next region. So they've added an option inside here, which is called machine by region or by depth. So this one's definitely by region, and you can see this one here is two depths, and this is going to take uh, let me just turn that off. This is going to take one cut at one depth, jump back and forth. So depending on what you want to do, the option is there for you. So it's either region or depth. And again, that's inside the options for cut pattern here, region or depth. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the containments. They've added the ability to use containments in this option. So here I have my uh, part with a 3D containment around the outside. And these are exactly the same operation, just copied down. And you notice in here, we have the option for a containment. So if I turn that off and just regen it quickly, so this is exactly like the ones above, or this one set to regions. So I'm going to go back into here, and I'm going to turn on my containment here. So my containment is that curve. And uh, there's an option here for additional offsets, which stays away from the edge, but that's okay. I'll say okay. So now this one is going to machine just inside the boundary. And there's an option there to invert your selection. So if you wanted to go the opposite side of that boundary, we can say OK to that as well. So this is going to machine everything on this side. And there you go. The next section I'm going to show you about is the defined cuts. So, you know, sometimes people want to have cuts at specific Z depths around the rotary. So I'll just go to a different bookmark here. You can see I've got geometry drawn here just to put some dimensions on. And inside here, we can get into the cut pattern. We have the option to define user-defined slices. So these are radial slices. So I've put these numbers to be exactly what the diameter, or sorry, the radiuses of these, uh, flat, of these sections are. And you'll see that it, if I go to my right view here, so you can see that it's going to go right to the top of that one first at the 42. And then eventually it's going to jump down to the 3404. There it goes. And then the last one's going to be at 25. Yep, there you go. So a really nice and easy user-friendly way to add cuts wherever you want. So that's Rotary Advance and all the features and benefits of added to that toolpath. 